Same. Anyway, uh, everyone in? Yes. Yes. And I'm recording okay. too. Easy. Easy. All right. Well, uh, just do you want me to go from here? Just yeah. Go from here. Oh, either. this is oh this is like a two hour. Yeah. yeah, this, yeah. Okay, this okay, is okay. the start of the map. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. Okay. So you guys are running the Pretty the bunk the right. bunker shit. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, they have a widow, which is dog shit into your comp right like that's just like a waste um i really like the, the the hanzo in this comp is a lot better than the widow i think this person you could argue that uh the hanzo could be a lot of different things like a farah probably not on this map of farah at least on attack far is not great here on attack because they have a lot of snipers and open line of sights to you but um i think may is probably the preferable pick if you can play it over hanzo in my opinion in a scrim environment but um Hanzo's like the next best thing to a May. So yeah, that's actually a pretty good pick. You have a lot of combos with your BAP, with like BAP ult and stuff like that. And like, uh, you can pull into his ult, which is quite useful. And you can just win fights all your fight. So I like this comp, it's good. And uh, I want to see how you play it because it's very interesting here. Because a lot of the time teams will try to set up on the cart and then they can't really set up because the other team has a Bastion also. And uh then they just kind of get poked out. So I think the, the ideal play that, in my experience, works the best is to kind of have one person. Like, I, I saw someone was pushing the cart there. It, it, that's kind of the right play, I think. You just have one person pushing the cart until it gets around the corner or to a place where you can set up. You either do that or you take a battle, like, somewhere else, like, around a corner where you can immortality, add a line of sight. Um, that's what you should always be doing, right? You want to you wanna take a, a shield fight, add a line of sight, uh, I mean, with your bat field at a line of sight, like after your shields go down, and you should remember the rotation, right? You should have um, this is a rotation I need you guys to remember, especially as like main tank, off tank. Uh, so you need to do uh, Arisa shield first, and then you want a Sigma shield second, and then you want a Arisa shield again, ideally if you have it have it off cooldown by then, and then you want to do the Sigma left shift, and then after that, if you have no more shields, which they probably you probably won't against a Bastion. Uh, then you want to immortality out of line of sight, and then your little your bastions here just like shooting, uh, and the walls here or something, and they can't, you know, they can't shoot the immortality. This drawing's awful, but anyway. So, <laughs> I'm ready. so that's kind of the kind rotation of you the, want. Then you go. Yeah. So shield. Like, yeah, exactly. So yeah, so you want like shield, uh, other shield, shield again for Arissa, and then left shift Sigma. And then by then, if you don't have any, you're probably out of resources by then with shields, so you would want to Immortality so your Bastion doesn't die. Like, that's a general idea that you want to go for. Of course, it's situational. And there is a strategy that's very interesting. I don't. It's starting to not work against better teams, you'll find, but it might work every now and then. Um, especially on attack, you can, like, Immortality out of line of sight, and then just have your tanks walk in front while in the immortality and just tank damage and then your bap will just get bap ult in like one fight and then you can just instantly bap ult and win like that's happened to me like and i've done it it's it's quite a useful strategy every now and then but teams are getting better and used to that so they they can counter it by like just not shooting you once you're like really low in the bat field because they can't kill the bat field but yeah so um i really like what you're doing here by taking a shield fight that's not on the cart because you have a really bad positional advantage if you just try to set up on payload. No shield, no shield. So this is like perfect, I think. No shield six. As long as you guys don't make any mistakes. I don't shield and two. Like in, in terms of getting picked and stuff. This immortality is very good. The immort's almost up. Calling when your no immort's emot. down. That's really good. Are we pushing cart? It's very important to communicate cart? that. Oh, no one's pushing cart, L. All right, new shield down. Yeah, That's down. tragic. That's pretty bad. Um. Yeah, so I like what you're doing here. But what I would say is before you do this, I think it's better to just have someone push the cart up to about like here or here before you set up like this. Because uh, now you've basically just like wasted time and now you're like going to have to wait for someone to go back and like push the cart and then you're like 5v6 and you probably and you just use invuln and stuff. So you're not in a great position here. And they have bat bolt already, which is really good for them. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, okay. So basically... As soon as your invuln's down, you need to, like, just, yeah, pay attention to the invuln cooldown and, like, have your BAP communicated effectively. He, your BAP did a really good job letting you guys know, like, when his invuln was going down and stuff, like, naturally. But, um, you guys kind of just autopiloted there and ignored the fact that they have, like, BAP altered. I, I didn't, I couldn't see their BAP field, but I assume their BAP field was, like, probably back before yours. 
and they had baffle which was like very difficult to track because they you just get it like randomly like really fast just based on like chunk healing and stuff so i mean it's just kind of unlucky but basically if you know that um you don't have an invuln you need to be ready to like instantly get up and not stand there so basically what happened is they got their invuln their, their baffle faster than you and then they just sprayed you guys down, got through all the sh little shields that you had left because you have just like wasted them, or they're not wasted, but they, they died already. So you just got instantly burned. But basically, I think the play there is to be ready to back off as soon as you don't have invulns because you cannot be as like aggressive. So I'd probably say the play there is to have you guys get up and like reset up somewhere else when you have invuln again, or just to like keep poking in, in the situation like that where... They can't really punish. Like there, they were able to punish with their bat bolt. But to be honest, it's very hard to like get up that fast. No, I don't have it. So it's just rough. Um, it's yeah, kind of like they just got their bat thing before you, and you, you got caught with your pants down because you had no involvement, which is not really anyone's fault. But yeah, again, again, no one, no one pushed cart, which is just unlucky because all of this was basically for nothing. So you just basically wasted a minute off the clock without any cart push, which is like fine if you can push it, but you need someone to push it, right? I think May on the card is actually a really good play here. But yeah, it's just really awkward. This is so awkward, like, fighting out here. Like, this is just really, yeah. The May wall is pretty good. I think, I, I, I like the intent, but it didn't really seem to work out there. But, um, yeah, walling, when you have this May in this mirror, it's really useful to wall the Bastion up. And, um, personally, like, the Mercy is really good in this comp for a lot of reasons, because you can, you know, res if someone gets picked, which happens a lot because of positional errors and stuff. Um, plus damage boosting bastion is really OP. But I actually have found that um if if your if your main support is comfortable on the BAP, I feel like it's which which you should be, right? Uh it's very mm -hmm. beneficial to have an Ana as well. So I like Ana BAP in this comp. If you don't have a Farah, that is. If if this is a Mei and not a Farah, or if it's a Hanzo, uh if a Hanzo, it makes Mercy even better. But if you have Mei, I feel like Ana is really good because you can do a lot of cool things. You can get like some great antis off if you get like the opportunity. But like walling the bastion up and then being able to sleep the bastion is really, really good. So yeah, same as um rocking the bastion when he's walled up, or just killing him yourself with your bastion. Because sometimes when you wall him up, you actually like mess up the immortality and like he can't be shot. And if and as well, if keep in mind, if they have a May in the May Bastion like mirror and you get walled up, you need to instantly get down. Or, or your Sigma needs to be ready to shield him in case he can't get down right away or he's, like, going to die or something. Because, like, it, a lot of the times it'll get you out of your invom and then you'll just die. And then that just sucks because your Bastion dies and you, you just lose. Oh, you ordered. So we'll see. Um, but so far, so far, I quite like your shield rotations and your calling on the invoms are really good. Um, I just make sh making sure that you your team is aware of your shield cooldowns and making sure your Orisa and Sigma are like quite synchronized in like not wasting shields and stuff just so they can like get the most value possible is really good and this baffle is it's interesting i don't think it's awful i like the intent again but um i think it's bad because they can just back off if they don't have their invom right and if they have their invom you can't kill the invom so it's like it's unless they like really mess up by like mistiming their immortality by their bath making a big mistake or the sigma doesn't eat it or something like eat the damage then like this is kind of wasted and as you see like they kind of disengage when you use bat, bat field which is your cube right which is which is the right play you guys should get in the habits of if if the other team ever uses like coalescence uh bongo or um or cube right or square whatever or window whatever um you want to you want to get in the habit of speeding out if you have a lucia that is you don't have a lucia in this comp obviously like what you would do is just los but you want to get in the habit of like getting out of line of sight and not taking any damage when they have these ultimates up unless you can mirror them yourself because um them having cole and them having bongo or them having cube up is just such a big advantage for them that you guys are just going to die like instantly so them disengaging here, there, I want you to take note of how they did that and just make sure you guys do that yourself. Always. It's very important. Unless you can mirror the coal or the bongo, of course. Top right somewhere. I'm rotating, I'm rotating. So you guys are probably going to die here because you don't have in, in bomb. But you did well, you did well. You like you don't, you don't got out of line of sight when um, your shields are down. So that's cool. And Gemzy right. got picked, which is unfortunate. Ready? Three, two, oh, I'm one. dead. Wait, 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 I'm resing, don't go quickly. 
Good call on your res. I can em emote whenever you want. Six, 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 six. They... I don't know what the fuck they're Arisa doing, feeding, honestly. They are just literally just fucking ran it down mid and jumped off the map, to be honest. That was really weird. She just, like, ran into you guys. They didn't have to do that. They should have kept high ground control or, you know, used it. There's this little, like, green box thingy here. They should have, like, set up around that, like, kind of where the Bastion is. But they just, the Arisa just decided to go aggro or something for some reason, even though their comp is not, like, Reaper May. But, yeah. Um, also, just so you guys are aware, um, you've probably seen the May Reaper comp used to counter Bastion. That's also very useful if you guys feel like your Bastion mirror is not as strong. Um, that's like, it's kind of a systematic uh, way to counter it rather than mirroring. Uh, if you guys are losing out in the mirror. So always keep that in mind that you can just go Reaper May and like wall up the Bastion, have the Reaper go in and chop up and stuff. And then while your tanks are like taking space with speed, and then like yeah, you just farm like coal and stuff, and then like Mayot can just win the fight. Go down. So that's always more? useful to remember just... as well. I don't know, Brent. Eighty straight. Eighty straight. Okay. I really don't know if I like this. Mm, actually, it's not awful. The bongo. The bongo is not awful. But um, because as you killed the Orisa, it's actually good to bongo, but. I think if you wanted to bongo, you maybe should have um, taken more space off it, but you couldn't really do anything because half your team just got picked, so it's just kind of unlucky. It was it was more unfortunate timing than a waste, I would say, because it seemed winnable at the time, so I understand why you used it. Uh, Is that pushing me? Bash is pushing me? Calling Bash Bash Bash. Bash. I have window, and I can... If we want to play aggressive, we can window one more. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over. They might window up. Alright, who's got aggressive? Ready? Just speed out and... I like the old tracking, by the way. Three, two, one. My emote's destroyed. Fuck. Watch if he's far. Oh, that's really unlucky. We, we have yeah, again, this comes down to... Th this is less, like... You guys are getting, like, completely outplayed and, like, all this shit. It's, like, it's more like they just... Inherently on this map, the defense just has like so much better positioning, like just by default. Like you have to push through like this tiny little choke or like this really open area, which is just better for them as the Bastion. Like they can just hold and they have line of sight and they're just set up before you and everything. It's just kind of tragic because like as Arissa on defense, you just like naturally have more shields because your first shield is placed first and then like you can place another shield like after and then it's like faster, whereas they have to shield out and you can instantly break it, if that makes sense. I don't know if you understand what I mean by that. But the Arisa on defense has shield advantage, like, inherently. So it's just, like, a rough situation here, I would say. Uh, I would probably, if you wanted to swap, I hope, which you just suggested swapping, which is a good call. I think uh, going, uh, yeah, Moira Lucio and oh, Reaper, it, it Reaper May might be, might be a good call. But yeah, you guys are really stuck here trying to win the 1v1 when you can't, because... They just have better positioning. So I would say your best play, like, I, I really actually, to be honest with you guys, I dislike going in this room, now that I think about it more and more, when they're, especially when they're not on the high ground. Um, I think what you should try to do, now that they're not holding on high ground, is try to go, like, main up straight, and then try to, like, let me see if I can get an angle on it here. Yeah, if you guys can go, like, here. Set up here, like, with your shield, and then your bastion, and then your bath involved goes, like, in this little doorway like this, this little doorway like your bath and bong goes here i think this is a lot better especially when they're not on the high ground for you guys just for a lot of reasons i don't know this this choke just feels really weird and it feels like once you're up e even still like you can't take space or anything just it's just you're very you're very restricted that's, that's how we win we, we, we force immortality and then we just use uh the gold and we win Games, if you want to go yeah, yeah. uh with what was just said about you forcing immortality with sigol if you guys are the bastion comp I would say that actually uh, using Sigalt to force the invom is more valuable than um, than trying to force the invom for your Sigma, right? Because you can do a lot. Like, if you chunk everyone to half HP, force out the invom, and can break the invom, that's a lot more value, I think, than, like, getting a large Sigalt off. Because your Bastion can just kill everything anyway, right? So I think, yeah, just just keep that in mind. Like, uh, in this comp, in this comp, you don't... I don't think, like, a big Sigma ult, like, while it's very good, I don't think that's the easiest play to make because it's hard for you guys to force out Inborn. Like, it's while it's a very viable play, I would say, like, you're running out of time, and I think you can play faster by, like, 
uh, Sigma ulting first to force out the invom. If you if you can get in a spot to break it, of course. If you can't break it, then it's just kind of rough. But yeah. But as well, yeah, you guys can force out Invalm, back off, and then come back with Sigma ult. That's also a very viable play. Like, it's not a bad play. That's just like my oh, suggestion. Okay. It's just something to think about so, as well. Again, you guys are stuck yeah, in here. Alrighty, shield in two, shield down. Reinforcing with Talavi. Shielding. No shield six. Did you guys? I think I missed that. Did you guys involve already? Already shield. What did he was he just lay with it? Did he involve? Do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we want to have to bash in for a second. I don't think we used it. Okay. Already shield in two. Shield down. I just think didn't react fast enough to the bash in. Oh time. okay. Shielding. That's cool. No, it was really fast. That, that, yeah, that happened. Plus he was like. In the, he got like, caught on the other side of the wall. Yeah, like here, he couldn't really. Yeah, that's kind of an unlucky. It happens. Um, but wait, is is the bat player here? No, no, no. Uh, okay. The bat player um, is currently leaving the team. We're getting a new. Oh, tr that's cool. No worries. Uh, but yeah, in general, if uh, for you to take two spaces, since you probably play bat sometimes as well as your main support, um, just yeah, always being in line of sight of your bastion to not have this happen is really good. This is a very preventable mistake by him being in the wrong position, right? Like, all he has to do is just be standing here and then realize that the shields are going down to Invom. But also, um, Zap, I think he needed to be faster on this left shift because he just got bursted instantly. Like, it's very difficult. Like, it's not like you guys really fucked up or anything. It's just, like, he instantly got chunked, like, without you guys really thinking. I think you guys are a bit tilted because it's been three and a half minutes and you've gotten the cart, like, 40 meters. Like obviously, obviously you're not like thinking straight and like calling everything perfectly, but um yeah, just I, I think you guys can clearly see that well, this is not. I have window and this is not a good down. thing to happen, and you should try to prevent that as much as possible. Well, it does happen. It's okay, but yeah. Um, I'm still good. Good, good, good. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Why are you calling to get out here and regroup? You guys are a six because you just rest, right? Uh, he might have meant to hide from the bastion. Uh, okay. I think his shield went down and they were aggressing, so he said pull back. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, plus uh, yeah, no, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, ba back up, I think is, yeah, I think he means back up, right? Which is fair. I thought he was saying like reset, as in like go back to spawn. I was like, that's a weird call because you just rezzed, but yeah, no, sorry. Um, You're waiting at the bongo? Really good. Really good. Really, really, really good. Really good. Perfect play. And also with Bastion ult, um, you're here, right, Sly? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so with Bastion ult, uh, that ult is. Absolute garbage. Absolute fucking garbage. You do not uh I, I would say do not use it um like it's a it's an ult. Like just use it when you're like cleaning up fights and stuff. Like it's a it's a really dog shit ultimate and you will do more damage just by left clicking normally. So like if you're set up behind your shields, don't ever pull out your ult, basically. Only only ult when there's not a lot of shields. But they, they don't have a lot of shields and they're like down a few and you might just want to clean it up to fight or something. But yeah, it, I wouldn't treat this like an ultimate. Treat it more as like a long cooldown, really. Like it's just like not very useful, as you probably already know. Yeah, just because the shield damage is like, yeah, very important. Um, there was a Widow just pretty much fucking us the whole time behind. Yeah, that's true as well. Like that's the thing as well. Um. Yeah, I, I was gonna comment on that actually. Yeah, you guys need to make sure. Um, it's very difficult again in this composition because your shields are very important. But if you can, just be where you need to be. I don't think I've really heard too much coming on the widow. Like obviously there's been a bit, and that might be wrong. But um, I think just calling out what the widow is and being able to rotate properly without getting picked is very important. <clears throat> and as as Sigma, always keep in mind. Like ob obviously it's not always viable since you have to like shield your sig your 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 bastion. Sorry. Um, but shielding, like, just throwing your shield at the Widow's face and making her, like, move and, like, wasting her time and stuff is always very good. And she can't do anything to outplay that, really. Like, it's, it's, if you're just shielding in the Widow's face, it's, it's good, it's good for them in the way that they don't have to worry about your shield, which is rough. But, um, for you, be in this comp, but every now and then, if you can just, like, shield the Widow's line of sight from your team, even, and, like, you can get some good value. Like, say the Widow's back here. And your team's like all here, obviously. You kind of want to maybe shield in a way like this, like close to cart. Like, so it, this is like close on cart, so right? And you're like blocking your team or, or like here or something. 
Like, you're blocking your team still, but you're also blocking the Widow. Like, just keeping in mind the Widow's line of sight. Like, your shield is so fucking big and can just block everything. Like, it's literally so broken. So just keeping in mind that you can do things like that is very useful. Uh, can I say something quickly? Yeah, sure. Uh, random said we should rotate underneath, like, uh, that way. And then take high ground to contest the Widow and take that space from her. You mean if Widow's sitting up here? Like... Uh, no, like the building on the right, you know how we're, t we're holding this room here? She was shooting into this room from the balcony area. Ooh, oh, okay. So well, should we go we take that space from her? S yeah, I couldn't really see because the angle is very close. I couldn't really see where the widow was that whole time. I just wasn't sure. Um, she was yeah, like destroying so him all most of the time and stuff. Yeah, which is, yeah, that's really rough for you guys. But um, yeah, just, uh, I think that comes down to Zap trying to shield it. Like, of course, it's up to you guys not to, like, try to be aware of where she is and not just, like, stand still and shit. But, like, if Zap, if you can, like, shield off your immortality from the Widow, like, that's very useful. Like, shielding, using your shield to block damage onto your immortality and making them commit more resources is always good. I don't think you but, could, because... Uh, nah, it's, it's pretty rough, again, because, you know, it's Mira Bastion. So it's just, it's... To, to, to be honest with you, this is just, like, a real cringe fest. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, this, this Mira matchup is just straight awful, and it's not fun. And it's like very, it's kind of like RNG. It's kind of just weird. I don't know. But yeah, shielding off the Widow every now and then is useful. But um, I think if you guys were to try to take the high ground, I think you guys are just going to get like binned while crossing or mm, like it can work, but I don't know. Their Widow can just kind of grapple all over the place, right? So it's just kind of weird. Like that's the thing. If you jump on a Widow, like say, say you're Monkey or something, like and you jump on a Widow, the widow can just grapple away, and then it's like, wow, that's Not rough. Not when the new yeah. cooldown comes in. Yeah, it'll be a bit better, but yeah. Anyway, widow's widow's oh, still OP uh, and shit with that. But yeah, we'll yeah. just see how this plays behind. out. That that's honestly like their widow playing very well rather than you guys playing bad. And like normally widow should be really bad into your comp, but the way that she was playing sounds quite useful and would be good. But yeah, again, I think just being aware of where she is, and that's up to the bap as well to like try to bap out of her sight is like better yeah but there's only one behind I'm burning um you're lucky that you didn't die there sly by the way I think because you're kind of just in the open here but Arisa shield is like either a mistake or outdated as in like you guys have moved up past it which is fine but you're kind of like just on the cart here like chilling and you should probably be dead not gonna lie like the, you, you you're in the open like this for like an extended amount of time you should probably be dead yeah um, but you're not dead which is good for you but um you need to be calling for sh you should be here you should be calling for shields or getting up because you don't have shields Widow's because only... you're just kind of vibing out here and like if their bastion <laughs> was set up any yeah if their bastion <laughs> if their bastion was set up anywhere or their sigma had half a brain cell he would rock you and he would kill you instantly so you would you should be dead again yeah but you're not, so. I thought we were taking cart, that's why. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, like, bad to be on cart. It's more about, um, your tanks are not in position to support you at that moment in time. So it's, like, not like this is a bad position. This is a good position. It's just that, um, your tanks aren't there yet or aren't ready yet. So that's why it's, like, it's hard. So you sh probably should be dead. But it's cool. Because it worked out. high ground on the right. Um. Don't let Bashi set up. He's going to try to set up behind us. Bashi walled up. Bashi walled up. Good wall, really good wall from Jemzy there. Nice. That's what you should always be trying to do as May. I know he's not here, but um, let him know that walling up Bastion is very, very good. Very, very good. So keep doing that. Our whole team took like five minutes to kill that widow. Widow doesn't. Jesus Christ. Big, big stagger. Oh, they have gone Hanzo instead of Bastion. Wait, what the fuck? Am I retarded? Wasn't this guy on fucking Orisa? He what? was. He was, and Spaceman Dan was on Bastion. What the fuck? What, what yeah, the fuck? How did they even do that? There's roll queue. Um, Wait, what? what? It wasn't. It was but, yeah, oh, they you were, didn't? They were, they were host. Oh, well, either way, like... So they didn't lock first, it. First of all, that... Should that's not possible in an actual game when there's roll queue enabled, right? First of all, yes. and second of all, like, why? Like, why? I think they were memeing on us because Yami's a really bad tank, like, oh, he's projectile yeah. mainly. So, I think they're just oh, at this point yeah, memeing. He was, he's
that very clearly terrible at Arista, not gonna lie to you. He kind of <laughs> ran it down mid that whole time. <laughs> and was getting big carried big by his widow. That's cool. Should we hold cart in this corner? Um, Instead of taking high ground? That's, that's the thing, it's very hard to make a decision about this kind of thing because sometimes positional advantage is a lot more important than pushing cart because you can just put like BAP or Mercy on cart or something and you guys like say could set up here or over at this corner or something. So it's hard to say. I think in the situation that it's Mirror Bastion, there are times where you would want to actually do this rather than stay on cart. Um, like you would want to set up in a way that your invon cannot be broken because if if they're not bashing anymore, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, which is why I would say this is the correct play at this time because uh, yeah, they're not on bastion, so it's a lot easier for you guys in this mirror match. But um, yeah, I think being on cart is a lot worse in the mirror bastion because your bap invon is a lot easier to break like ninety percent of the time. Um, because it just either moves with the cart above the shield or. Like, it's, like, going to be here, and then it's just broken easily. Or it's, like, out of line of sight in a good spot, but then the cart moves, like, two meters, and then you're out of the MO, and then you die. Like, that happens so many times. So it's really rough. So a lot of the times, it's, like, a lot more easier and, like, more structured if you can, like, set up in a good spot like this, for example. But um, since they don't have um, a Bastion or, like, Reaper May or something, or, like, a good comp to deal with you in general, they're probably just going to get farmed this fight because you're on the cart and you break their shields and then they can't do anything. And then when they can't place shields, their snipers can't do shit, really. So, yeah, see, like, their shield insta-breaks and, like, you're, you're not really in... You're under a lot less pressure in this situation to use your Im immortality at all, basically. So, like, because your shields just aren't going to break as fast as theirs are, so they can't, like, pressure you at all. So that's why I think, yeah, cart is definitely the right play into their comp. But in, in a Bastion mirror, there are times where you would... It's not always, like, a certain thing. Um, but, there, yeah, there are times where you would want to set up in, like, other positions that aren't on cart. Someone's far left, left, I think. Left side, Hante. Hante left side, Hante left side. Am I going to res that? Coming down. Good in bomb there. I'm just coming, coming. Back with it, back with it, back with it. Uso, Uso. Play this corner, play this corner, play this corner. Um... Gemzy just got a really good freeze on that Sigma, and I think you guys should try to follow up on that more if you can. Um, this comes with uh, listening to your teammates as much as possible and stuff like that. But if uh, Gemzy, if Gemzy calls that um, someone's frozen, um, you guys should try to just farm them. Like he should, he their Sigma is in an awful position here. Like you pulled him into an awful position, but he's in an awful position with no left shift, right? He should be dead. Like, you guys are all walking this way for some reason. Like, of course, the cart's going this way, but getting kills is important. I mean, mm, I just looked at the kill feed. You guys are down one at the moment, which is rough. But I think you can equalize it and make this fight very, very winnable if you kill this guy. But you guys did not listen to Jemzy. And, like, like, I don't know. He's kind of around the corner, which is rough, and you guys probably didn't know exactly where he was. But I want, like... Zap, I think you need to be closer to your Orisa here, and I think um, your Orisa needs to be ready to like block heals with a shield or something like that, and just like be ready to farm this Sigma. But yeah, he just lives and gets out for free. Play this corner, play this corner, play this corner. Only Mercy heals? Think about his uh, shield. Yeah, think, yeah. And, and again, um, this, uh, I don't know how this is going to work out for you, but uh, you should always call when you're setting up and make sure that. Um, always your Sigma is with you, right? I was calling uh, that. Were you? Okay. Well, yeah, I was calling in that, just... and I said that because they're going to flank down this way. Oh, okay. And, like, this was just... A, yeah. I thought this was a terrible spot to hold. Again, again, this is, I think, a good spot. But, yeah, your tanks are not with you. So just, I think, uh, making sure you your tanks are aware of where you're setting up and when is six, important. Six, coming, coming. I think coming. you're going to die here, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's just because you're set up in the open, which you should try to not do. Like, I think I called it like time multiple times. Punished. Yeah, that's... Again, Slay would, not all, he was not too busy fault, calling, shot yeah. calling. Yeah, yeah. Sick one, sick one, sick one. Okay. 23 of you. But yeah, again, um, you guys need to listen to each other and make sure you're all on the same page at all times because while you could be saying something, if your team is not doing it with you, like, you still deserve to die because... Um, yeah, if everyone else is team... doing it and I'm not doing it, I'm the one in the wrong, Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not, it's not exactly like as simple as that, but basically, yeah. Because, like, while you could be saying the correct play, it's better that your whole team does one play that's, like, not 
optimal than one person calling an optimal play and then dying while doing it, basically. Hey, so like, uh, the, so there, like you were in the, I would say actually you were in the better position, but you set up too early and therefore you died. And it might be on your tanks for not setting up with you. Either way, you both should, you, you together should do the same thing rather than do different things because it resulted in you all dying. Yeah. Which happens a lot again. It's not, uh, not concerning. Just know, like, make sure you, can, yeah, you communicate. Oh, Widow's just uh, to the right. Playing. I think that's just a mistake from Gemzy there. Um, peeking without shield, which I don't know. Sometimes you just forget. But yeah, they have snipers, and you should never. He plays May like a them. like a Hanzo. Is this just a yeah, Hanzo one should... trick? Yeah, exactly. Which is which is wrong. So you should just make sure you let him know that you can't peek like that. You're just gonna die. I also think he does an AD strafe very often. Oh really? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Movement, oh, movement's very issue. important. Just being unpredictable and aware that they can see you when when they're seeing you, so you know like how to dodge shots and stuff. Like obviously you can't always dodge shots, but um, making it so that you get hit less of the time. Like it's a lot of these like sniper shots, like especially Hanzo. It's very RNG a lot of the time. Like they kind of just shoot in your general direction. And sometimes you walk into it. Sometimes you don't. It just happens. But uh, yeah, just being paying attention to your movement and making sure you guys are like AD crouching and stuff in like a not the same pattern, like an unpredictable pattern is very important. And I think that's very crucial in terms of like ranking up and all that kind of thing. Like I remember I was watching a friend stream one time and he said like, I reckon you could get masters just by learning how to move properly, which is like, honestly not wrong. Like if you- Yeah, I've heard Jane say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know how to <clears throat> move, then you know how to not die as much. And if you know how to not die, you're probably going to rank up. It's also like 60%. Yeah. 60% of your aim is like movement too based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Movement impacts aim, so. Knowing how to aim based on your movement too. Uh, their Sigma is... Uh, you, you got picked here, which is just kind of unlucky. Um, that's just the thing. Like when they have good snipers, like obviously this Widow seems quite good. Uh, they're just gonna... If they just get picked, it's just kind of unfortunate. It's just, yeah, again, I get I, about like being aware of where the widow is and being making sure you're not peeking corners. I want to see where you got. Look at that, here. Arisa. What the hell? That's evil it's toaster, dude. And the Sigma. I'm dead. Yeah, oh, this is just really unlucky. That is really unlucky. <clears throat> I don't even, you weren't even out of position here. Their widow just took a really greedy angle. Their widow, like, should not be here. Um, but she took a really greedy angle and your shield was slightly slow, which is not on your, it's not your fault, Zap. It's just like. Do you have a scrim now? first. I do. Holy Don't you have to practice? Scrim. I have a scrim in like eight minutes. Uh, let me finish this round for you, and then I'm gonna have to go. Okay. But yeah, this Sigma is out of position, but he's he can basically like force your immo and like chunk your bath like very easily here. Uh, he's just he's out of position, but I don't think you guys are gonna punish him here because you're down mercy oh, and you're like cl like flustered and don't realize he's here right away. I don't. Well, Zap's gonna get well, fucked Zap's, up. Well, yeah, Zap's Arisa, fucking Arisa, Arisa. taken on the yeah. Arisa. That... I didn't see the sig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think anyone saw the sig. Yeah, so that's just kind of yeah. And then the Arisa pulled you into the dragon. It was just a fucking L. Not gonna lie. So that's rough. I, I feel like we swapped. Yeah, I think um swapping here is a really good call because uh you don't have, you no longer have cart control and you're like recontesting, which is really difficult on Bastion, especially into like like if they were still on Bastion, then it might be viable, but they're not on Bastion anymore, so I don't think you want to play Bastion. It's just like harder because they have in this in that room there's just like all those random high grounds. It's really easy for them to set up and break your inbounds and stuff. Widow? Uh, widows, a fine pick here by the way. Uh, normally I would say in this meta. In my opinion, Widow is really not that good, right? But on there are certain if they have a Widow and you you feel like you can win the one v one, of course it's value. And as well, if you guys are running Widow or they're running Widow, please, 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 I cannot stress this enough. Try to coordinate with your Sigma, you two. Uh, you, you guys should make sure that you're being shielded in one v ones. If you're going for grapple shots, uh, I, I I know if I have a Widow on my team, I'm always calling like, uh, do you do you need a shield? Can I shield you here? Like shielding your snipers is really fucking op. And like they just can't, they they just have free reign basically. If you like, give them a good shield. So, yeah, I gotta start and, doing and, that. Yeah, so just communicate with Zap and make sure you guys are coordinating um, some shields every now and then. Of course, it's a lot easier as well in a uh, into like double sniper comp, right? Because you don't have as much pressure on your shields where you need to like keep replacing your your Arisa shields. 
like your, your the shield rotation is less crucial because your Arisa shields are breaking slower since they don't have like Reaper and stuff like that. So yeah, just calling yeah calling for shields is very very useful and really OP. And it's just like one of those things that you can just say and then like it's very easy to do and can just help you a lot. And a lot of the times as a DPS, like you just want to frag out. You're not talking that much and stuff like that. Like I get that, but it's very yeah very good to say. By the way, toothpaste, your ult tracking is really good. Oh, Shit. Thank oh you. God. <laughs> okay, calm down, Rune. You're feeding her ego. Okay. No, it's good. It's, I'm serious. I did like to be honest. I did not expect that at all. Like, it's good. It's roll, really good. I, I remember from last last time as well. It's good. It's really good. I roll. I roll. I can go. keep that up. Both snipers are outside. I'll try and knock you. Um, but yeah, make sure as well with the ult tracking stuff. Like your ult tracking is very good. So from that, you guys need to make sure you're fucking listening, okay? Like she, like she's saying very good things, but I want you guys to make sure you're paying attention because I can tell you're like a little quiet and stuff like that. Like make sure you guys turn her up and make sure you're listening because she's saying good things. And um, make sure as well you guys figure out more planning based on what what ults you're tracking and stuff like that and what you should plan with your alts because again I'm, I'm noticing there's a there's a slight lack in planning which happens but there's good tracking what they're doing but yeah try to keep up like what you can do in reaction to what they have and like well, thinking about that kind of thing yeah and when you're able to like plan and stuff like you're thinking faster than the other team Oh, and then if you're able to think faster than the other team, you're just gonna win. Like it's all about thinking better and faster. I think. All right, I really have to go. Actually, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna dip here, but um, I think you guys lose this, unfortunately. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> thank you guys for having me. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Good luck with your game. No worries. Thank you, man. Is there any chance we can like see like the vod? Uh, what would you say, Sly? Is there any chance we can see the vod? I think. We mentioned it earlier, a while ago. He gave us a. Yeah, oh, I sent one. Yeah. I sent really? One, I sent one in chat today. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Team chat. It's a bit up. I don't know uh, if someone can find that. Uh, watch through it if you like. Uh, don't leak it, please. Thanks, because that's like. Yeah, yeah. Confidential, but uh, yeah. I time stamped a point where because someone was asking about like fight planning and stuff. I just time stamped a fight where I felt like the shop plan the the fight planning was like relatively accurate and good. So. Okay. Thank you. Alright, no worries guys, have a good one. No worries, I'll see you soon. See, ya. see you guys.